Hey guys, this is Lazarus. Today I'm gonna talk to you about Roberto Hongo, the new Dream Fest character. First, I gotta apologize because I got weak. I already pulled. I pulled as soon as he was released because I was excited <laughs> and people posted a lot of uh, his pulls on my Discord. So I was like, yeah, I was weak. I was weak. Uh, nobody else to blame but me. Uh, 450 DBs I got one old blue Dreamfest Nita and three uh, copies of useless Gacha characters I don't need. So yeah, it was a big failure. But let's just start talking about this guy. So he is uh, a attacking midfielder and a forward, which is great. Comes with a theme skill that gives every non-Japanese player 23%. So it's, you know, as usual for Dreamfest, you don't at the team skills enhance special skills for all special skills so force 13 percent that is why you see here that basically left and right side are completely the same because that is always active which is ridiculous special skills are long rage drive shoot with 510 momentum that is a great shoot that is a great shoot non distance dk doesn't lose momentum even when used from far away okay so it's a great shoot uh we have uh one tool that he does with with revol nice um three stage faint breakthrough uh for 75 that's a dribble and edge out sliding tackle for 25 that's four special skills and all four are basically his most powerful ones which is absolutely ridiculous uh something that you don't see very often hidden skills are bond with two or more toughness type players that gives everyone six percent so here we go guys, uh, I believe it was like uh, 4 or 5 months until we got the those 5% now. Before we waited at least 12 months or more for them to raise up the meta like this, but uh, I guess from now on it's gonna be 6%. So that means that all those characters that got hidden ability but by 4.5% will be absolutely useless. Most of them are useless but... Uh, all of them will, will be absolutely useless in a couple of months because we're gonna see these type of bonds. Auto interest and enhance seventy percent chance to activate a special skill during an auto uh, during an auto intercept, which is which is absolutely awesome as usual. Dribble range enhance times five. So a character that has one two two characters that he does one two with with Subas and Revol. A lot of people use them, so it's not gonna be a big of a problem. Dribble range enhance for that special skill for that momentum. That's excellent because you can basically what I said. You can you can match up with a defensive midfielder. Let's say just guess the right thing and you jump over. The last defender and then you just shot at that which is extremely extremely valuable so that means this guy can be used as one of the best wingers in the game he can be used one of the best uh uh central uh central uh forwards in the game and basically let's let's be real like auto interest and hands that means that he is probably gonna be a great a midfielder too attacking midfielder stamina cause down requires stamina minus 20% when using a special skill that means he will never be drained let me just see if i typed up his stamina wrong no i didn't his stamina is even more ridiculous so basically just spam the special skills and that's it uh and a skill block cancel like that like everything i said wasn't enough so he will cancel up the two special skill blocks used against him as I said, like you see, left and right side are the, are the same because, you know, uh, his passive is always active, which is really, really nice. So we see a guy that uh, has an excellent dribble with 86.7, excellent pass with 85.1, excellent 1 2 with 88.9, which is really, really nice. We have a great tackle at 74.3. 75 and 80k for an interceptor as an auto interceptor guy 80k means that he will have no problem auto intercepting even special skill passes of course when they lose a bit of the momentum 80 is ridiculous in the matchup that is excellent too because you can even bully skill type uh, uh dribblers and stuff with that kind of power so it's 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 really really nice and the main thing about this roberto he can even shoot so on the grounds he is one of the most powerful 
shooters in the game and he doesn't need anything to activate he's just always like that it's absolutely crazy even on a volley and the overhead he is one of the best uh aerial shooters which is you know he doesn't need nothing for it he's just always like that which is completely ridiculous this guy is probably one of the best no this guy is the best forward in the game right now probably the best forward in the game um you can ar argue with me that no he doesn't have like a skill block uh, or he doesn't have block killer and something like that because we have this natureza that was just released uh, uh he's really nice though and uh he he comes with a commodity of that you can basically just shoot and really anyone will be able to block you unless of course he gives more bonds and debuffs you enough to actually be more powerful to the to that point where he can block natureza but um you know you don't not, not every player needs to be just a dummy this guy is a dummy in terms that his power is always the same his power is always the same against defender against uh attacking midfielder defensive midfielder forward uh, goalkeeper he is just a murderer in every single way tackle intercept pass dribble and again aerial shoots and uh ground shoots if you want to use this guy as a uh, attacking midfielder i wouldn't suggest it but if you want to use him as attacking midfielder just give him every possible skill unless one two if you want to use this guy as a uh, forward then one two is a must and you just keep the pass out you don't need the pause if you have one two that's basically it i mean what can i say more about this uh, I, I will now show you the rating what did you rate this guy if by the way if you want to be a part of this rating you can join my discord there every player that is released i post there's so you basically uh vote uh for them uh and what you wanna uh what is your opinion about those players so let me see how did you vote i voted him one because uh you know i i didn't pull him so i was angry so I'm, I'm just gonna remove that vote because uh yeah i was angry so we have uh not a single guy rated him from one to seven which is nice i'm proud of you boys three people that rated him eight nine people that rated him nine and 26 people that rated him 10 is probably the highest rated player you ever rated on my channel when i started this so you rated him 9.6 uh i don't need to say how broken 9.6 is you know it's pretty self-explanatory because it's 9.6 out of 10 yeah he's he's just broken he's just uh absolutely broken like the only guy that would the only thing that would make this guy even more ridiculous is a uh, skill block or um le let's say he didn't come with stamina cause down he came with block killer or with uh, uh skill block that would make him even more uh broken uh this stamina cause down will help you not to that extent he already has 1400 stamina you will like have trouble you know draining him even if you spam just with him but uh i'm not saying that that's gonna bring my grade down but it will because uh 10 out of 10 is a perfect character right <laughs> he's not perfect but he is the closest to perfect in any player right now in the game i I'm gonna rate this guy 9.8 uh, I could, like this is basically the closest I could come to 10 because I believe I will never rate a character 10 uh, because it's really you know it's tough to be perfect but this guy is really close uh, to it you gotta take into uh, uh, account that he has uh, and had special skills for a passive which means that uh, basically that stacks up the best in the game when you add on the team skills the the bonds and all that uh stuff so yeah he's pretty broken he's ridiculous he is yeah what can i say if you're up against dolman he is perfect against dolman he is perfect against espadas because espadas is uh 
uh, a club player killer. He's perfect against Bagus. Against Bagus, you can just do whatever you want. Um, Ken is whatever to anyone, so he just kills every goalkeeper in the game but Miller. And that's it. So you just put Roberto and you put uh, Natureza uh, right next to him and you basically have your, have probably the most broken attack in the game right now. What can I say? This guy is crazy. Uh, if you got him, congratulations. If you're going for him, good luck because you need this guy. And the banner is great. Uh, I wouldn't... If there was only Roberto and some other two characters that I didn't need were on the banner, I wouldn't pull you know, but there was Gito and Roberto. So the 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 chances for me that uh, if I got a feature, the chances are 66.6% that I will have a new guy in my team, a really useful player in my team, Gito or Roberto. And I unfortunately was unlucky, uh, but there were a lot of you guys that are lucky, so I'm happy for you and, uh, you know, go, go for it. I mean, this banner is a must. Uh, for anyone at least with 100 dbs test your luck do it if you get him great if not save it for the anniversary and stuff because i'm sure this guy will be one of the featured characters on the anniversary 100 so um yeah i mean this is it have a great rest of your evening uh, I might be streaming, I'm not so sure, but I'm gonna let you guys know on my Discord if you wanna be a part of fit and anything I do, enjoying the link to it is in the description of the YouTube video. Have a great one, bye bye.